Hello students, KSET 2024 first mock allotment results were already out, right? And by now everybody would have checked your results, would have reviewed the colleges and courses that are allotted to you. For many of you, the results were satisfying, you would be very happy to get your favorite college and course. But for many of you, it also might happen that things didn't go the way you planned, right? So there is nothing to be worried here. Okay, one of the best way how you can improve your chances to get your desired college and your preferred course is adding of more colleges, more courses that is adding of more options, right? But yes, again, adding of more options should not be in a random way. You cannot just add whichever college you want and make the option entry and fill the uh, option entry list. It should not be like that. There has to be some particular uh, formula that on particular things that you should consider while adding the colleges and there should be something which you must avoid, right? So yes, this video is for that purpose. In today's video, we'll be discussing the do's and don'ts for adding colleges in your preference list so that you can make the best option entry list for yourself okay so yes please uh, watch the complete video and note down these important points so that when next time you are going and making some editing or adding colleges in your option entry these points you will definitely consider okay so now let us see first the do's okay then we'll go and see check the don'ts so the first here do that you must consider is do research thoroughly okay sorry yeah do proper research of the colleges okay so while doing research okay what exactly you have to do now before adding any new colleges okay make sure you do thorough research so you have to look about that particular college different factors for example look about the reputation of the college the faculty placement record and the campus facilities check if the college aligns with your career goals and aspirations okay so check that whichever course you want to study whether that course is available in this particular college or not okay or if uh, the faculty uh, the faculties are good the placement records are good or not so these things you must consider next Second point, do consider your rank and cutoff. This is the most important point, okay? You have to consider the rank of your, uh, in uh, like your rank in the KSA 2024 examination and the cutoff for that particular college and that particular course where you want to study, okay? For example, uh, you are uh, someone whose rank is 10,553, okay? Your rank is this one and you want to study in uh, RV college CS whose cutoff is around 360 okay for example then even though this is your dream college dream branch but it doesn't your rank in the KSIT exam doesn't match with the cutoff right so adding such option is not the right way or is not a good way to make your option entry in the same way if you see another college RNS okay in RNS, the computer science branch is around, the cutoff last year is 9,222, for example, okay. Now, if you consider here, your rank is 10,000 and this is 9,000. So, you can say this is somewhere near to your uh, rank in the exam, the cutoff for this college and course. So, this can be a better option for you than this, okay. The, though RVCS is far better college, far better options, there are far better opportunities, but for your rank, this is not a good fit, okay? For your rank, this one will be a good one, understood? So like this, you have to do. So you have to consider your rank and cutoff. Now, when you have selected this college, you need to select, you need to check about these factors, the ranking of the college, the faculties that are provided, the placement opportunities that is there, the infrastructure facilities. So these things you need to consider. Now coming to the third do, that is, do diversify your options okay this is again very important when you are putting the option entry when you are adding the colleges okay you should add colleges of three types okay first when i'm saying adding colleges i mean adding options okay colleges with course is a together forms one option right so when you are adding options this should be under three category okay so these first category should be where it is very difficult to get these colleges and these options okay difficult one second you should put might where the cutoff of the college and the course and your rank 
is not exactly like you are not it it uh, it's somewhere nearby like for example i gave uh, 10000 is your rank and 9000 is the cutoff for rnscs so that is where you might get now for example you select another college for example um, mbj college of engineering right so here suppose computer science cutoff is 20000 okay and your rank is 10,000. So, this is what a very safe zone. Okay, definitely if you fill this option, you will be getting these colleges. So, your options should be in this way. First few options should be where you are really wanted to go, but the rank is very high, the cutoff is very high for these colleges. You can put some options like that. The major, the game change option is this one. Okay, here, here you should be very strategic, very cunning and you should add your options a majority of options should lie in this range okay this uh, so that is top mid tier and a few backup options so these are your backup options which you will definitely get you need not take any tension because of that okay now if you diversify like if you only put difficult which you are very difficult to get very competitive colleges then that it may happen that you may not end up in getting a college so it is always wise to diversify your options diversify your colleges in different ranges so that you can fit somewhere okay so now the fourth do is do prioritize your location okay location is again an important factor here like so for example consider the location of the college so let us take one example for uh, any college nie national institute of engineering located in mysore okay so for example your cutoff falls in this range okay your rank falls in the cutoff of this uh, college you are interested in the course also but you are not interested in this location for example for certain reason you are not somewhere who want to study in mysore then that in that case adding that option will again be of no use okay so you should be very very particular about the location of the college okay now whether you are ready to shift to that particular place or not okay so you should like how far it is from your home the climate the city's educational ecosystem these are are some factors that you must consider now coming to the fifth do that is very very important is seek guidance okay so in every video i am telling this because it is very important children listen you are entering to this phase for the first time right many of you will be uh, doing this counseling process for the first time in your life right so it is very important to take help from some people who already have experience or who have, who have the knowledge in this field so that they can guide you properly okay so talk to your seniors okay definitely your seniors would have done counseling process last year they might be knowing which what colleges are there where like you can talk to them if you want to know about a particular college talk to them know the feedback from them okay talk to your teachers okay and if you have any career counselors you can talk to them and before adding any new option so whenever you are thinking to add any new option so just take some um, guidance or some discussion with some people who have the experience of this doing these things okay so they can provide you insights with the college environment culture and the academic purpose okay so this is again very very important now let us go to the don'ts of this video okay what things you should not do while adding a college or while adding an option okay so the first one is don't add colleges just to fill the list okay so suppose you heard that uh, if we add more options the probability of getting the college getting the course increases your friend has added 80 options you just added 15 options so now what you thought okay and you didn't get any seat or you didn't get a good seat so now you are thinking okay now uh, let me add more options i'll also get so remember it doesn't work it doesn't work on the number of colleges you have added the only game here is how strategically how smartly how um, effectively you have added your options okay so avoid adding colleges just for the sake of having more options okay each college on your list should be one where you would genuinely consider studying okay so whichever college you add in your list it should be that college where if you are allotted a seat you are interested to go and join that college okay so just for namesake adding and later when you get that and you are disappointed you don't want to join such things should not happen okay 
next don't overlook the aggregation and affiliations this is again very important so why is it important see uh, if a college is accredited and if it is uh, affiliated okay the whatever certificate you are getting after four years whatever degree you get that will be considered as valid if the college is not affiliated or is not uh, a good college the degree that you have after four years from this college will not be considered valuable okay so the value depends on the ranking on the accreditation of the college so that is why you must check whichever college you are adding that should be well accredited and recognized by the relevant authorities so okay? this should be well recognized in the uh, like in the education system and it should have a degree the degree that you will get from that college should be should hold value okay check if there are affiliated with reputable institutes as this impacts the value of your degree clear okay now the third so first don't is don't randomly add colleges second don't is when you are adding a college check whether it is affiliated or not the third one don't ignore branch preferences okay what is this one now see for example uh, you are very much interested about going to uh, rv college let's say okay you are very much interested to join rv college and you are at like for example your rank is somewhere around 15000 or like let it be 11000 okay this time suppose your rank is something 11485 okay so with this rank you are uh, able to get mechanical engineering okay but your interest is not there in mechanical engineering but you are joining uh, this college you are you are adding this option rv mechanical just to join that you have a hype that rv is a top engineering college in karnataka so i must study in the top college so i will form i will fill this option rv mechanical where you are not interested in that particular course particular branch okay so if you just add college seeing its fame seeing its infrastructure seeing so many fest are there in this college big celebrities come to this college if that is the notion this is a wrong way okay so what you have to do if you are certain a particular branch okay don't compromise too much uh, just to get into a specific college like so for example if you are uh, interested in cs but in rv in cs you are not getting the college okay so try some allied branches okay so try some branches which are similar where the courses or the things are not very different okay so don't compromise more on branch you can to some extent you can do but computer science and mechanical are two different streams right there's no relation it between them so that is why you should not compromise too much on the branch like for example if you are having let us consider in uh, bms okay bms college you are not able to get computer science okay but some uh, related branches like at computer science in uh, data science computer science in uh, cyber security these branches are available in your cut off range so in that case you can use this college you can add this college as your preference because your branches you are not too much compromising but you are not interested in uh, mechanical but just to get into rv college you are taking mechanical branch that is not correct okay i hope this is clear next the fourth one don't forget the future prospects okay consider the long term prospects like the placement opportunities higher studies and the industry connections a college reputation in your desired field is crucial for your future career okay so just don't uh, get attracted by the infrastructure of the college by the fest the college is organizing by the different facilities the college is giving so think in terms of your career what is the placement record that is what you should consider right what is the uh, internship opportunities there what is the industrial exposure of this college where the students of this college are studying are doing internship today where they are placed today right where they have gone for higher studies so your consideration should be on these fields okay so consider these things if you are choosing a college okay now coming to the last don't is that is don't rush the decision okay so it is very important see option entry adding colleges adding options is the most crucial thing on the basis of which you will be allotted the college okay so next four to five years you are going to study based on this option entry that you are preparing today so it is very important for you to take proper time when you are adding colleges 
do proper research about the colleges okay carefully consider each option before finalizing your list when you uh, consider each option check the cutoff check the placement record check the faculties check the facilities so check everything and then add the option okay it is better to make an informed decision than to regret a hasty choice later okay so now you will do hurriedly and later you will end up in getting some college where you are not interested or where the location is not good where the infrastructure is not good so it is very important that take some time now do proper research and then add the colleges okay yes so now we have come to an end of this video so the main motto of this video is to expand your option entry by adding more colleges but not randomly but allowing following some strategy and in a smart way okay so this will help you to make your option entry more effective more optimized for getting your uh, desired college and course right so i believe by following these do's and don'ts you will add good colleges and correct colleges in your option entry so that each college that you have added to your option entry has a worth and plays an important role in making you a step closer to your career goals and aspirations okay so thank you for watching and if you have found this video helpful please subscribe the channel good luck for the counseling process